What is going on everyone there on YouTube? Welcome back to another fantastic video. So if you follow me on pretty much any of my social media, you would probably know that I just finished my quiver for my Link cosplay from Breath of the Wild, and I thought that I would share how I made it. So stay tuned if you would like to know how I made my quiver. It makes little rattling sounds too sometimes. To make Link's quiver, I started by rolling out my white faux leather and cutting out all of the pattern pieces. Once all of the leather was cut out, it was time to start painting! And painting, and painting, and painting. Yeah, painting this leather took a super long time, but it was all worth it in the end. After all of my beautiful leather pieces were painted and my stock of sponge brushes was running rather low, it was finally time to start assembling! First I glued my pieces down to secure everything together and then went over all of the edges with my sewing machine, using some tearaway stabilizer to prevent the leather from sticking. This took quite a bit longer than I would care to admit, but the end result looks super good. Once I was finished with the center circle, I continued the same process for every single piece on the quiver. After everything was sewn on, I added some blue suede lace around the center. I wasn't quite sure what color I wanted to use at first because most of the promotional images showed these details as red, but in the final game, the color was actually changed to blue. So in the end, I just decided to go with the blue because I thought it would tie in better with the other colors, and I think I made the right decision. Once all of my fingers had finally stopped cramping from threading that suede lace, I added a layer of buckram to help the quiver keep its shape, as well as another piece of orange leather to serve as the lining and sewed all around the outermost edge. Next, I sewed the entire thing in half. And look at that! It's finally one piece! Once my sewing machine had finally stopped crying after sewing through so many layers of fabric, I threaded some more suede lace along the edge, only this time in red instead of blue. Super nice looking. Now that the main quiver piece was mostly done, it was time to make a belt for the quiver to hang from. I cut out two strips of leather and one strip of buckram and sewed the edges over to create my basic belt. Next, I sewed on a belt buckle and added a hole for the buckle to go through, and then my belt was all done. I added some final EVA foam details and a screw eye for the lacing to go through, and finally attached the quiver to the belt. To do this, I threaded another piece of suede lace through a hole I made in the belt and a screw eye, and then tied that into a messy knot. And finally, everything was done! I am super happy with how this turned out. I used a lot of methods and materials that I haven't had any experience working with before, so I'm absolutely over the moon about the result. Alright, so that was how I made my quiver from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more just like it. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you all later. Bye.